and welcome back. My name is Knight and I am in Western Supermare. I've literally just booked into the uh, Sandringham Hotel. It's literally uh, right across the beach here. It's really nice. I wanted to share this like kind of vlog slash video style uh, type of video just to share like the experience of what it's like to be in Western Supermare now that it's coming up to holiday season. It's in March, things are getting, you know, summery, the heat's rising, people want to go down to the seaside beaches and I want to experience and video some of it for you guys. Wait, stop, hold it. Now I know what you're going to say. I know that it isn't March or at least when I uploaded this, it wasn't March. And that's okay, I've been working on a bunch of different projects behind the scenes while slowly editing this, including actually what you see before you now, my avatar stills character that I can move around and talk through, so hello on that front. But in either case of this being slightly later than I hope to actually release it, I do hope you enjoy this short little video. Right, back to past me. <laughs> and also show what it's like um, to be in the uh, this hotel as well. So let's go, oh before I go I would love to show like the room kind of like first so onto that. Right so this is the room I have uh, like a sink here that's right next to the outlet plug. Yes you've got your kettle there your milk cups and all that stuff to make a uh, cup of tea. It, this is actually an interesting room because you actually have two windows if you can see. So this one actually, if you can just about see, overlooks the beach. I know it's kind of dark right now, so I might have to video that kind of later. But yeah, the views right there is quite nice. But I've also got one over here, overlooks uh, more of like the town area. That's quite nice as well. It's quite a small room, but the actual thing about this room is that we're in the tower bit. This is why you have like two bedroom like windows here. And like some of the rooms, are, like well, how they're connected, because apparently, you know, it started off with six rooms and then went up to like 50, 60 and so on and so forth. It's all been like joined together. So it's a bit like a maze when you go around, like the way the steps are formed. So um, yeah, this is where I'm staying at the moment. <laughs> right then, let's go. So let's grab our glasses and keys and head outside. So you have to like close this first and then close this. So let's have to look forward to.
And with that ends our video. It's been a really interesting look into the seaside town and the towns that surround it as well and what made this place so popular in the first place. I loved visiting the amusements. I wish there were some more amusements around here, but the few that were here, the, the old pier as well, I went to go look down there. Visiting, you know, Cheddar Gorge and all that, that was, that was nice as well, you know, learning a bit of history there. Going down the Grand Pier, which was built, you know, around about 1933, that was interesting. I still don't know how I feel about paying the pound though to get across, but there was like some rides on there that were really interesting and going on there. I played uh, Space Invader on there, so you'll probably see that in the clip. Right then, well, I've got to go. Night out. See you next time. Bye.